What's going on, you two? Welcome to a grocery haul. Here we are at Publix, perusing the romaine lettuce. So I grabbed a bag of that. Um, and then I went over and looked to some strawberries, and I'm like, meh, I don't know. I wanted some organic ones, but the organic ones didn't look too great. So I decided to skip on those. Uh, ended up going to the aisle with all these wraps. And I wanted to try the this new um, Extreme Wellness brand because I've been seeing a lot of that stuff on TikTok. So we picked up um, a pack or two of those. Then went over and got some marinades. I used to love G Hughes. I ate G Hughes for so long and got sick of it. So I'm like, man, let me just give them another try. So picked up these two marinades here since they were two for $6. And then had to get some cheese. Um, I did notice that the organic uh, Green Wise cheese, which is the Publix brand cheese, was cheaper than um, the other brands there, so I grabbed that. And then Ezekiel bread was uh, $5.99 a loaf, which was cheaper here than at Sprouts, so I grabbed that as well. And here's everything that I ended up getting at Publix that day. Uh, we spent $50 on this grocery haul, so we got some ranch dressing, some bananas, some of my favorite chips. We got some mangoes, ended up giving some um, almond, no not almond butter, what is it called? Apple butter, got some apple butter, got some cottage cheese, there's the bread and the wraps over there, so those wraps actually ended up pretty good by the way, they make for good quesadillas in case you're wondering. Um, got some grapes, and there's the cheese, lettuce, and all my sauces there, and that pretty much sums up the haul, so... The next place that we went was Aldi. Um, we don't go there often, honestly, but, you know, gotta, gotta stretch a penny, you know what I mean? So, here's Aldi. We got some little um, tangerines and some avocados. I thought the prices weren't too bad there. Their bag salads, um, those were pretty good, too, so I grabbed a couple of those, threw those in the cart. And just checking out their bread here, I would have gotten this bread. It was like a, the knock your sprouts off. The only reason I didn't is because honey is an ingredient, and I don't, my baby, you're not supposed to give them honey, so, you know, skipped on that. There was some good lunch meat that we grabbed, um, or organic chicken breast, grabbed some of that, I thought the price was pretty good for that. And their almond milk was at a good price as well, so we stocked up on some of that. And their sweet potatoes. Cheap, there's a reason why they're cheap, let me tell you right now, those sweet potatoes were terrible. So that was unfortunate. Um, I also went ahead and grabbed some bananas. The bananas weren't bad, not bad for organic bananas there, 71 cents um, an ounce, I guess, or pound, I don't know, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, so here's everything we got at Aldi for $60, but we got some beans, some lentils, some chicken, some uh, lunch meat, some almond milk, some of their hot sauce. Ended up going with this bread, which we regret, it is terrible. Um, avocados, I told you the sweet potatoes were a bad move, some oranges, some more almond milk, bananas, and then that bag salad there, so... That ended up being everything that we got from Aldi and Publix, so roughly $100, $115 for a week's worth of grocery between the two stores. Not too bad. And here is a fruit salad that I threw together that turned out really good that I thought I'd share. So you need pineapple, mango, and orange. Well, tangerines is what we use. You can use oranges too, I'm sure. But pretty much all you do is, obviously, you're going to cut up the pineapple. And I gotta say, the pineapple was amazing. This pineapple was the perfect ripeness. It was nice and juicy. Delicious pineapple. Nice and sweet, too. So, um, I love pineapple. My girls love pineapple. So, um, I was excited to get a good one. And, you know, you cut up the mango after you get the pineapple in there. And then you put your oranges or whatever you've got in there, too. Give it a little mix. And you've got a nice, citrusy, refreshing, hydrating... Um, fruit salad that's like super ridiculously high in vitamin C. It's good stuff. Um, very sweet. Good stuff there. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Um, you know, I just kind of wanted to show like two extremely cheap grocery hauls since, you know, we're trying to make one paycheck last a whole month around here. So you got to kind of, you know, it's, it, make things work when you can. You get some organic stuff, some not. You know, you got to give and give a little bit. You know what I mean? So. But basically, those two um, trips to the Publix and to Aldi ended up costing us, like I said earlier, a little over 100 bucks for the week, which is not too shabby. Um, and then next week, st stick around because I'm going to be doing another Costco haul, and I will be doing some more recipes. 
So stay tuned for those. They'll probably be in the next video, if not the one after. So um, I'm excited to share that with you guys. And that's pretty much it. You know, nothing too exciting going on, on around here lately. My baby is about to turn one, which is absolutely insane. So, you know, just preparing for her first birthday and, you know, just kicking it, trying to stay cool because it's been really ridiculously hot here. And just hanging out with my girls, making some good stuff, doing the normal, you know, cooking, cleaning, all the stuff that we do as stay-at-home moms. So, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys can make a yummy fruit salad like this that you enjoy too. Because, let me tell you, we ate on that for a couple days and it's been really good. So, um, if you would, leave me a fun comment. I will respond. Like the video, share it, subscribe to my channel, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. And hopefully everyone is having a good day doing whatever you're doing and stay cool out there because I know it's hot and get you some fruit to keep you hydrated and uh, drink some water and have a good one guys. Alright, see you in the next one.